what was your next question? I'm sorry. It was about whether they had come up there. So there have been incidents. I don't want to necessarily say it's been building, but there have been previous incidents. You're right. The, the incident with the drone and other incidents where there have been incursions. Um, you know, that is, again, those are, those are violations uh, or were violations of Turkey's airspace. Um, we haven't determined exactly what happened in this situation. But, you know, as the President said, Turkey has a, has a right to defend its territory and airspace. Um, and again, I just would, you know, we all realize when, uh, uh, when you're operating like that, and the President spoke to this, in a complex environment where you've got uh, a coalition carrying out, uh, you know, airstrikes, daily airstrikes against ISIL, and then you have a, a country like Russia uh, that is carrying out airstrikes operating close to the border that's not a member of that coalition, and is carrying out airstrikes against a moderate Syrian opposition, again, along the border of a, uh, of a NATO ally, then that creates a very complex and dangerous uh, situation. Uh, you know, the President was also very clear in his uh, press conference today, we would welcome a, a constructive Russian role uh, in countering ISIL uh, if it decides that it wants to uh, focus its efforts on destroying and degrading ISIL. Please. You're saying Turkey has the right to defend itself. President Obama said the same thing. What defense are you talking about? Does anyone think Russia was going to attack Turkey? Again, I mean, you know, Do this you is, think so? look, I don't want to parse out this incident. I've said very clearly that we don't know all the facts yet. So for me to speak categorically about what happened is, frankly, would be irresponsible. We're still gathering the facts of what happened. The, the NATO or the NAC met in Brussels today. We're still talking with Turkey. We're still trying to determine the, the series of events that led to the incident earlier today. Let's find out to, before we can make a determination, a definitive determination about what happened. Well, even that said, let you... me finish. That said, we're also very clear that any country, when its airspace is violated uh, and its territory is violated, has the right to defend itself. That's for that country to make that determination. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to speak definitively as to what happened, but that's the principle at play here. Even if you accept the Turkish version that the plane traveled 1.3 miles inside Turkey and violated its airspace for 17 seconds, that's according to Turkey, do you think shooting down the plane was the right thing to do? Again, I'm not going to um, give you uh, our assessment at this point. Um, you know, we're still gathering the facts. What I think is important in the aftermath of this incident, and I've said it multiple times today already is, and the President obviously spoke to it, is de-escalation. We want to see Turkey and Russia talk to each other. We want to see, uh, frankly, uh, these kinds of uh, incidents eliminated going forward. Yes. In 2012, Syria shot down a Turkish plane that reportedly strayed into its territory. Prime Minister Erdogan then said, a short-term border violation can never be a pretext for an attack. Meanwhile, NATO has expressed its condemnation of Syria's attack, as well as strong support for Turkey. Do you see the inconsistency of NATO's response on, on this? As to what President Erdogan may have said uh, after that incident, I would refer you to him. Um, you know, we had, uh, again... NATO's again, condemnation of Syria's attack, hold and on, the U.S. is part on, of NATO, so... Hold on. Um, hold on. What you're talking about today... We said we're still gathering the facts. We're not ready to make a determination yet. Uh, you, we've, we know what Turkey says uh, happened. Uh, if that's indeed true, uh, Turkey does, um, the President said, to, said this, uh, have a right to defend its airspace. Um, you know, as, uh, as others have mentioned, uh, you know, this is not the first such incident. Um, it is part of uh, what happens when you have uh, another power operating on the border of a country, uh, again, carrying out airstrikes that aren't part of the broader coalition efforts uh, to counter ISIL. But I'm not going to make a determination, and I'm not going to uh, talk about incidents that happened uh, three or four Just years prior. One, one more. Uh, please, go ahead. Please, thank you. Yep. Um, Turkmen forces in Syria said they killed the two Russian pilots as they descended in parachutes. Yep. Uh, Turkmen forces are supported by Turkey and are fighting against the Syrian government. They are part of the rebel force there. Do you consider these rebels to be a moderate force in Syria? So uh, a couple of thoughts. One or a couple uh, points. Uh, one is uh, we've seen 
conflicting views, as, as I think Say just mentioned. Um, we've also seen that one pilot may not have been killed. Um, you know, if these were if these Turkmen were uh, were actually the uh, uh, being attacked by these Russian strikes, uh, you know, they have every right to defend themselves. Uh, but uh, that said, uh, and they have the right said, to shoot at said, uh, the pilots know, in parachutes. We don't have a clear clear understanding of everything that happened today. Okay, I've said that, and I can keep saying it all day. We're still trying to determine what happened. You know, it's easy to rush to judgments and to make proclamations and declarations after an incident like this. You need to gather the facts. You need to be clear about what happened, what what occurred, and again, what the emphasis, uh, where the emphasis, where we want the emphasis to be is de-escalating and communications between Turkey and, and Russia going forward. Back to the diplomatic. Sure. Uh, what exactly have you have you offered any suggestions for what could be done to de-escalate, other than telling Russia that it should stop flying or join the coalition? Well, I mean, 